photo fans, Kathy Harding, Seville Weekly. Uh, so for real, the art director was on vacation last week, and hence we had our annual photo contest. We have three fabulous winners. First place got a $500 gift certificate to Pro Camera. Second place got $200 from Fast Frame, and third place got $100 from Zocalo. So that's that's pretty handsome reward for entering our photo contest. In addition to which, they get to be on this video. Check it out. We talked to all three of the winners, and uh, we're going to roll that tape now. Okay, well, we're here with um, Hannah Peterson, and uh, Hannah's actually sat here before. She uh, placed uh, third in last year's photo contest, and she's back again in the winner's circle. So uh, this year you've got uh, a, a picture quite different to what you did last year, which was more of an abstract piece, and this is actually sort of a portrait of some sort. Right. Tell us a little bit about what went into taking this picture. Well, what I saw when I was taking this picture was was mystery and sort of it provoked thoughts for me and that's what I really look for in a photo and the mood was different from the photo last year and so I really like to change it up a bit so that's why I entered it this year. And can you tell us where it was taken? It was taken on um, Main Street near Maya and on that street. Right. So. And you, um, if we've talked on the phone and you've been doing some further study of photography. Do, it seems like it's you've really got the bug. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love photography. It's something I want to pursue when I get older. So, and Tell the people how old you are, Hannah. I am 15 years old. Which means she was 14 last year. So, of course, the judges didn't know that. They just knew the pictures. They didn't know who took them or anything. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So we're here with David Anhold, and he took uh, a, a picture of Crozet uh, that our judges found quite compelling for the let's say the message in the picture what what moved you to take this photo well you know I, I wish I could say that I had, um, had kind of scouted the site out for weeks and I'd gotten there hours early to, um, to to set up the picture but it was a little ironic because it was just by chance I had um, been uh, to pro camera who's sponsoring your mm -hmm. your uh, photo contest and I'd, I'd bought a couple filters for my lens that morning, and I just happened to stop out at um, Old Trail for, a, for some lunch. And I, I came out, and I put the, the filters on my camera, and it was just a great sky and uh, a great little setting, and, and just took some photos right then. So it was, it was purely by chance. Serendipity all the way. Serendipity. So you were over at Pro Camera. What's your, um, your involvement with photography? Hobby, more than that? Well, I'm a landscape architect, so um, you know I take a lot of photographs for work, and and I guess yeah, it's kind of involved or evolved into a hobby or mm -hmm. a little bit of a passion, I, I guess. So. All right. Any any uh, any tips for shooting landscapes that you want to share with the people? Well, uh, I think the biggest tip uh, that uh, that I try to go by is you know shoot uh, early in the morning and, and late at late in the evening. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a lot of it's just about the light, you yeah. know, trying to just catch that good light. Yeah, yeah. So. Great. Well, congratulations. Well, thanks. Okay, so I'm here with Nick Strokia, and he has a very nice picture of uh, a scene outside of Spud Nuts. Um, and uh, we want to know a little bit about how you got that picture and why you took the picture. And uh, tell us also about your interest in photography. Sure, absolutely. Well, I was inspired when I saw your guys' contest, and the theme was local, and right. the, uh, the requirement was a portrait orientation. And the first thing that came to mind when I heard the word local was, uh, was of course, Spud Nuts. You know, uh -huh. It's been around for 80 years, and I, it's an establishment here in Charlottesville. Um, but I also wanted to kind of capture like the clientele that I kind of see come in and out there, and yeah. um, it seems to be of a you know different generation. But there's also a mix of the newer generation. Mm -hmm. But um, so I, I envisioned the shot ahead of time. I, I knew that I wanted an older gentleman, and I wanted him to be holding a donut. In what capacity, I didn't know. Um, I was lucky. My subject decided to take a bite out of the donut, which was which was pretty cool. Um, but I scouted out the location for two days. I decided that I wanted a warm uh, morning shot, and mm -hmm. I actually arrived there the day of, and it was overcast. So the scene turned out to be this cool blue, but I decided to run with that. Um, I set up a single light in the parking lot, and um, I went and bought a dozen donuts. And um, I stopped people coming by, and I simply said, um, hey, would you like to participate in a photo project? I'm competing in the Seville uh, Weekly uh, Annual Photo Contest, and I would really appreciate it if you could just give me a moment. And um, I would say probably nine out of the 10 people that I stopped were more than willing to 
um, pose for a photo, which is quite unexpected. Who would not pose for a photo in exchange for a spud nut? So <laughs> you'd have to have a heart of steel to turn that down. <laughs> that one person is just kicking him or herself now, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so you have a, a pretty lasting interest in photography. I mean, if you're setting up a light and you're scouting the shot and everything obviously not just an amateur tell us about that yeah I am a uh, local pro I've been shooting um, I guess professionally for the last two years mm -hmm. I moved here from DC in August um, when my girlfriend uh, decided to pursue a uh, PhD in environmental science here at, at UVA and um, the Charlottesville photography community has been very welcoming to me um, our, we really enjoy it here and uh, we're, we're happy to have uh, settled here for at least the next five years wonderful well congratulations thank you ma'am all right all right, well, you heard it here first. Three distinct tales of how these photographers rose to glory, and it could be you next year. Don't forget to enter the our annual art director is on vacation photo contest here at Seville Weekly. And a few weeks from now, Best Of is coming up. So much excitement, so little time.